Hi there, welcome back. Before we delve into designing the next design pattern, I would like to introduce you to an amazing platform where you can discover design inspiration and user flow ideas. The platform is called Mobin. To delve into a comprehensive walkthrough of the platform, I will navigate to the Google and search for Mobin. This is the official link, I will simply click here. Basically, Mobin is a design library showcasing real-world tried and tested design patterns that have been successfully implemented in actual applications. In essence, Mobin is a go-to destination for the extensive collection of design resources, offering real-world and proven strategies within the field of user experience design. You can find the inspiration for the app or website and also conduct competitive analysis to explore effective solutions. Now I hope you have understood the importance of Mobin. Now we'll move forward and learn how to use it. I will click here to log in because I already have an account. You can simply click here to sign up. I will also attach the sign up link as a resource and if you prefer you can also create an account seamlessly by clicking there. I will simply put here my credential. It will send the login code to my email. I will simply paste that code here. As soon as we logged in, we will reach to this interface. We can simply scroll down to see more. As you can see, it does have a vast library of apps. You can discover variety of apps spanning from productivity tools and entertainment applications to diverse industries such as artificial intelligence, lifestyle, travel and social networking. Whether it's a creative project or work thing or just a personal project, this place has a ton of inspiration. It has a big pool of apps where you can drive in and find exactly what you need for your project. This library is not only limited to iOS apps, we can also look for Android apps as well as web apps. As you can see, the Android app library is also quite vast. Whether you want to design an app for any domain, you can easily take the inspiration from here. The abundance of options ensures that you can easily draw inspiration to create a unique and compelling user experience tailored to your specific goals and preferences. The same is true for web apps. Mobin also has a large collection of web apps. We can explore the web app library if we need to design a website. This provided an overview of how Mobin has structured the app library based on platforms such as iOS, Android and web. Now let me illustrate the process of filtering the app for the project. There are four ways to explore this design library. The first is through app categories which is a default view. The second is by screens, the third is by UI elements and the fourth way is by user flow. Let's assume we want to design an e-commerce app. To take the inspiration for that, I will simply click here to, to filter the apps by shopping categories. As you can see, these all are the e-commerce apps. You can understand how these apps implemented e-commerce UI logic by exploring them. For example, I will click on Uniqlo app which is a dedicated e-commerce app for Japanese fashion brand. As you can see, these are the onboarding screens. To show the content properly, I will decrease the browser zoom. If we scroll down, we can see how this app has implemented the home screen. You can see the implementation of each user flow that this app has. On left hand side, we have a flow tree. With the help of this, we can jump to the different user flow. Let's assume we want to see how this app has implemented add to cart feature. We can simply click here to see it. As you can see, there are five steps for performing add to cart interaction. So this is how we can browse the app based on the app category. Let me show you how to filter the design inspiration based on different parameter. For that, I will click here to go back to home page. As we have seen how to filter the app based on the category, in the same way we can explore the apps of different segments according to our project requirement. The next method to browse the library involves sorting by screen types. Let's consider a scenario where we need to design a specific screen, not the entire app. In such cases, there is a no need to manually search through the each app. Instead, we can easily find them by using this filter. Let's say we want to design a dashboard. We can easily draw inspiration by observing how various apps have implemented dashboard designs. Analyzing the different approaches taken by these apps can provide valuable insights for our own dashboard design. Suppose we aim to incorporate the filter screen into our app. In such instances, seeking inspiration from diverse apps that have successfully implemented similar feature can significantly enhance our work speed particularly when we face creative blocks in design process. We can also browse this library for specific UI elements. Let's assume we want to design the card. I will simply click here. As you can see, there are a lot of cards from different apps. We can easily look for the card that matches to our own preference. Let's say we want to import these screens to our own Figma file. There are two ways to do that. We can download this screen to our computer and import it to Figma. 
or we can also copy and paste the screen. For downloading the screen, I will simply click here on three dots and click here to download as a PNG. I will click here to save. Let's download this one too. As you can see, these two screens has been downloaded to our computer. To import these screenshots into the Figma project, we need to create a Figma file first. I will launch the Figma app again and click here to create the new design file. I will rename this file Mobin. To place the screenshot into this file, we will simply select the screenshots and drop them over to the canvas. As you can see, both screenshots have been placed into the Figma file. I will press shift plus 1 to zoom to fit to see the entire canvas. So this is the first way we can import the screens from the mobin. It's a two step process. We need to download the screens manually to our computer. And after that we need to drop them into our Figma file. The second way to import the screens is simply to copy and paste them. To demonstrate that I will move back to mobin. Let's say we want to copy this screen. We can simply click here to copy to clipboard. And press command plus V to paste the screen here. Let me show you one more example. Let's say we want to copy this screen. We can also copy it from here and move back to Figma file and I will press command plus V to paste. I hope now you understand how to use screens from Mobin in Figma file. If you prefer designing while having the screen placed to the side for better observation, this method is quite straightforward. We can also share the individual screen via URL. To do that, we will simply click here to copy the link. If anyone paste this link in the browser, they will directly reach to this screen. Now we will move further and browse the design library sorted by user flow. Let's assume a scenario where we need to craft a user flow for a specific task. We can directly head over here and look for inspiration. Here we can explore a plethora of design pattern and draw inspiration that can align with the unique requirement of our project. Let's assume we want to create an onboarding pattern. For that, we are conducting a research here. Whatever we like during the research, we don't want to download it immediately. Instead, we want to create a collection so that we can refer to it later. Movin has a feature specifically named collection to handle this particular situation. To demonstrate that how it works, we need to create a collection. For that, I will click here on my profile icon and click here on collection. As you can see it is blank because I haven't created any collection yet. I will click here to create new collection and write the name onboarding pattern research. And description would be research for a new project. I will click here to create the collection. We can also upload our own screenshot if we want. But in this scenario we want to add the screenshot from the, the mobin itself. I will again head back to home page and go to the flow and click here on boarding. Let's say I want to put this on boarding into the collection. For that I will simply click here this bookmark icon and click here on onboarding pattern research to add this user flow to our collection. We can also find the success message at the bottom right corner. I will add few more patterns. Let's assume I like these two. I will simply click here to add to the collection. I will add one more. Now to see this collection I can click here or I can simply click here on my profile and click here to go to the collection. You can see the collection details. It is saying on boarding pattern research last modified 3 minutes ago and created 3 minutes ago. I will click over it to see the collection. As you can see these are the patterns that we have saved. So this is how we can create a collection and save various design elements and patterns we like during our exploration. It allows to revisit and draw inspiration from these saved patterns making it easy to reference them while designing in the future. You can also browse this library with the help of dedicated filter component. Let me show you how to use it. I will head back to home page and click here on filter chips. As you can see we have the search bar on the top. We can input a query to see the search result from this library. These are the four categories that we have explored. Basically utilizing the filter component enable us to explore the library in detailed fashion. We can also search for screens, UI elements and flows. As you can see all are neatly organized. This makes finding super easy and smooth. We can also explore the trending apps, screen and flows that Mobin updates regularly. This feature allows us to stay updated on the latest and most popular application screen designs and user flows. I hope you have found the walkthrough of Mobin.com insightful and valuable. Having completed the walkthrough, I hope you now grasp how to derive inspiration for UI UX projects from this platform. 
before concluding this lecture let me introduce your mobins advanced plan which comes with three offering for casual browsing it is absolutely free free plan allows you to browse the latest eight apps and websites however this plan comes with some limitations such as restricted search results and only the ability to create three collections the pro plan is tailored for ux professionals and freelancer unlocking all the features including unlimited access to apps flows and search results along with the ability to create unlimited collection and downloading multiple screens the next plan is designed for team agencies and companies it encompasses all the pro features while introducing the collaborative features such as shareable team collections, admin tools and centralized billing. Lastly, it is important to note that while pro plans offer enhanced feature, it is by no means compulsory for using Mobin. The platform remains accessible for casual browsing without any obligation to purchase the pro plan. Whether you choose to explore the free option or opt for advanced plan, the decision is entirely yours based on your specific needs and preferences. I will wrap up this lecture here. In next section, we will design some popular user flows to ensure good practice before starting the comprehensive mobile app projects. Now that you have been introduced to this platform, feel free to draw inspiration from here and customize the design projects according to your preferences. Modifying a project is a good practice when learning hands-on skills because the act of modification involves problem solving and making decisions, which enhances the problem solving skill and deepen your understanding of tools and concepts used in the project. So this is it for this lecture. I will wrap up this lecture here. Thank you.